how to improve hitting power in baseball. Today, I share with you three baseball hitting tips and three drills to increase power. And I'm going to use Mookie Betts as an example because there are some things that he does that if you do just a few of the things I'm going to share with you today, it will really increase your power numbers and ability to drive balls to all fields. And if you watch until the end, you will learn one of my favorite drills that creates a swing to do damage. So let's get into it. So the first thing that will help in increasing power is controlling the strike zone. See, if you can control the strike zone, you'll force the pitcher to throw inside the diamond. Now, if you don't know what the diamond is, I have a video that goes in depth about the diamond and I will put it in the description below. But basically, if you force the pitcher to throw in the diamond, then you will get better pitches to hit. And we all know that if you get better pitches to hit, you increase all your numbers. In fact, when we take a dive into Mookie Best stats, we see that he very rarely swings at pitches outside the zone. This forces the pitcher to throw it more over the plate and when they serve it up on a platter, he will take his A swing more often and since he is taking his A swing at better pitches to hit, he will get more mistakes and this will result to doing more damage. Now, if you are wondering what drill you can do to learn how to control the strike zone, I have a drill that you can do. So the drill I recommend to you is a drill I learned from Barry Bonds. The the drill I recommend you will allow you to be more direct to the baseball, will teach you to control the strike zone, and will teach your body to stay back and let the ball come to you. The drill I recommend to you is the catch drill. This drill is by far one of my favorites drill and can be used in so many ways. So what you are going to do is drop your bat, you're going to get in your batter stance, have a partner flip you the ball, and you're going to catch it with your top hand. So if you're a right-handed hitter, you're going to catch it with your right hand. If you are a left-handed hitter, you're going to catch it with your left hand. In this video right now, I'm using a pancake glove. I usually use a left-hander's glove and put it on my right hand so I can catch it, but I left it at home so I made an adjustment. Anyways, as you can see, what you want to do is you want to get ready as if you are going to hit the ball and catch it with your top hand. The main reason I like this drill is we are going to get more into that later, but it allows you to see what the body is doing before you take a swing. So I use this drill before I started hitting in the cage and it's what I do with my students. The first thing when they get inside the cage. I also like this drill because it starts working your hand-eye coordination and it trains you to learn the strike zone, which is a very important thing. It's definitely one of my favorite drills and I did this every day in my routine. Now I do it all with my students. Now to get a little more deeper, the reason I like this drill is because you get to see what your body is doing. For example, if a player is opening up, you immediately see it and you can make adjustments without swinging the bat. Or if your head is not staying on the baseball, you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to feel it and notice it. Or if you're not getting extension through the baseball, you can make corrections and teach to get through the ball just by using this drill. I also like this drill because it teaches the strike zone. Earlier in the video, I was taking pitches that were balls. If you do this, this will allow you to learn the strike zone as a hitter, which is very, very important, especially as you move up the ladder in competition. And if you control the strike zone, you get better pitches to hit, and this will result to more success. Another reason I love this drill is because it gets your top hand to get on plane with the ball. See, the top hand controls the barrel and also creates the path of the swing. And if your top hand is going direct to the ball, or in other words, goes directly to catch the ball, you are going to hit. The last reason I love this drill is, is because if you are a player that is jumping at the baseball and not staying back, this will teach your body to let the ball come to you, which will make you more balanced. And balanced is one of the most important things when it comes to hitting. The reason I chose the catch drill, because if you do it correctly, then you could really learn how to control the strike zone. See, I learned this drill from Barry Bonds, but what made me really love it was when I was with the St. Louis Cardinals and I would work out with Carlos Beltran. Carlos Beltran and I would do the catch drill off a pitching machine pretty much every day. And we would dial it up to high speeds because we wanted it to be game-like. We then would put a glove on our top hand and get ready to 
it hit and focus on the ball going all the way into the glove, watching it all the way in. And if it wasn't a strike, we wouldn't catch it. This really helped me to understand the strike zone. And it really helped me to slow the game down, especially when guys are throwing hard and you're going off a pitching machine. It really slows the game down. And it's something I really hope you would give a try. However, if you are new to this drill, start with front toss as you've seen in the video. And as you get better and better, work your way up to off the pitching machine because we don't want you to get hurt. So the next thing you need to do to work on to improve your powers is work on your lower half and the back hip. The reason I say this is because let's look at Mookie again. Notice how his back hip starts rotating to let his hands get out front. This is how he hits for power because he hits the ball out front. And if you want to improve your power numbers, in other words, drive the baseball, you have to hit the ball out front. And if you are hitting the ball out front, you might pull the ball a bit more. In fact, when we dive a little deeper into Mookie Best numbers, we see that he pulls the ball around 42% of the time, which is very high, very, very high. But since he pulls the ball more in the air, some of those balls turn into doubles and others turn into home runs. For example, check this out. I know there are a lot of dots on the screen and that can be confusing, but notice the black dots on the screen. Those are home runs. Also notice the blue dots those are doubles. Notice where majority of his doubles and home runs are. They are pull side, which is hitting the ball out front. This is also why Mookie Betts, who is a small to average sized player, hits a lot of home runs. Now, if you're a young player, I am not telling you to go out there and pull everything. That would be bad advice. Actually, terrible, terrible advice. I am only using Mookie Betts as an example to get my point across about hitting the ball out front. My professional advice would be to learn how to go the other way because it allows you to learn the strike zone but it also teaches you to make good reactionary decisions by allowing the ball to get deeper and once you can do that consistently once you are so confident that you can go and hit the ball other way no matter who is pitching then you can work on hitting the ball more out front so now if you're wondering how to hit the ball out front i have a drill for you but first smash the like button if you are enjoying this it really helps me reach more players to help them it's free and it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And thank you for hitting that like button. So now if you're wondering how to hit the ball out front, I have a drill for you. So the drill I recommend for you is a drill I learned from MLB hitting coach Kevin Long that will allow your lower half to be explosive and will also allow you to hit the ball out front so you can hit more extra base hits. And lastly, this drill will create proper extension in your swing. In addition, this drill became famous because of Robinson Cano. So the drill I recommend you is the Robinson Cano drill. What you are going to do is get close to a fence about bat length, then set a T middle, right up the middle. I like the ball a little up in the zone, but you can put the ball wherever you want. Also, you can have a partner flip you the ball and again, focus on the ball being middle to middle away. When it comes to where you want to hit the ball, focus on hitting it to your pull side gap, which means staying more up the middle. We don't want to try and pull it because if we do, we're going to spin off the ball and open our front hip. We just want our hands to get out front to hit it because when you try to pull it, you're going to do what I did right here. Do you see how my front hip opened up? This is not what you want. You want to stay close with that front hip and let your hands clear your body as you stay square. So your hands can get out front and crush the ball. So you also want to stay through the ball and not roll over. So if you're a player that rolls over, be very cautious of that. We again want the ball to backspin. Instead of rolling the wrist over, focus on giving yourself a pat on the back with your top hand. This will give you that level to upward swing that will create damage. The reason I like this drill is because if you do it correctly, you're going to use the lower half correctly, which will make your backside explosive. And when your backside is explosive, you are going to put more force into the ball, which will allow you to hit the ball harder and farther. 
The other reason I like this drill is because it will allow your hands to get out front. And when you get your hands out front, you can really drive the baseball for more extra base hits. The reason I chose this drill is because if you do it correctly, your lower half and hands will work together and you will start hitting the baseball out front. I also chose this drill because look how my back hip is working. It is allowing my hands to get the ball out front. It's pretty similar to Mookie Betts, as you can see right here. And if both your lower half and hands are working together, you are going to hit the ball harder and farther. I learned this drill when I used to hit with Nick Swift we had Kevin Long come out and we all did this in practice. We started with front toss and then we moved to off a pitching machine and I immediately see myself driving the baseball and started filling myself a little bit. <laughs> now here's the tip. When you do this drill, you're going to start filling yourself and want to hit the ball out of the park. You will notice you would be driving the baseball a lot more, especially in the air to your pull side gap. But when you do this drill, focus on staying up the middle. That way you don't start pulling off the ball. Try to hit it over to your pull side gap. If you are pulling down the first base or third base, that is no good. So stay up the middle and in your pull side gap. Lastly, a thing you want to work on to improve your power is your extension. When you get extended through the baseball, you can hit more line drives and more balls in the air. In fact, when we look at Mookie Betts stats, we see that in his entire career, he's hitting 42% fly balls, which is a lot. It makes sense why he is a top five player in the league. The reason he is hitting more fly balls is because of his extension through the baseball. It allows him to hit more balls in the air, and this results to more extra base hits. And when we look at his swing, notice how he continues through the baseball. Notice how he doesn't cut off his swing as most young hitters do. Just hitting the baseball isn't good enough. He catches the baseball and continues through the baseball. This is how all top tier players swing. And if you're wondering what drill you can do to help to stay through the baseball, I have a drill for you. So the drill I recommend you is a drill that would teach your lower half how to work properly. It will also create proper extension through the baseball and teach you how to hit the baseball out front. The drill I recommend recommend is the two T drill. So what you're going to do is get two T's. You're going to put one T at the distance where you can hit a line drive up the middle. Normally it's at the distance where when you stride, it is even to your front foot. So take a few swings and hit line drives up the middle. When I do this drill, I like the ball waist high but you can put it wherever you want. After you lock in that distance, stay in the same spot and you are going to put the ball on the second tee now. This is going to force you to get through the baseball and drive it. Now you want to put the first tee lower so you don't hit the first tee. Your aim is to hit the second tee. When you hit this ball, it should be in your pull side gap, which means it would be in left center if you're a right-handed hitter and if you're a left-handed hitter, right center gap. Watch the spin of your ball. Make sure it's back spinning. And also, don't try to pull it. Think up the middle and stay in the gaps. We don't want your front hip opening up too soon. The reason I like this drill is when you do this drill correctly, you learn how to stay on your backside, hit the ball out front and get extension through the baseball. And when you stay on your backside and hit the ball out front and get extended through the baseball, you really start hitting the baseball far. This is because you will pull the baseball the right way. And when you pull the baseball the right way, you get more extra base hits and home runs. It would also teach you how to use your lower half correctly. If you push forward on your front foot, you will hit a ground ball to your pull side. Now, if you have a stiff front leg and majority of weight on your backside, it will put you in a very good position to crush the ball. The reason I chose this drill is because this drill teaches you to stay through the baseball. It also teaches your top hand to go through the baseball. It teaches your top hand to be strong and it really helps to get the extension through that baseball. When I would do this drill, I always felt like I was going to crush baseballs. So it's just a feeling I always got. And I know you would get that feeling too. But here's a tip though. When you do this drill, 
you would tend to hit the ball out front in BP or front toss because you would train your body to hit it out front since you're hitting off the second tee that's in front. Well, when you are in practice or hitting BP, try to hit everything to your opposite field gap so you bring the ball back a bit. Bring the ball back, but still stay through the baseball and drive it. So if you made it this far and enjoyed this, you would love my full swing breakdown video of Mookie Bet. We go into everything with this swing so if you're interested click over here right over here and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel